Let's break down what's going on with this latest software update for the on 4K and on 4K Pro. This update is kind of a mixed bag, so if you own one of these devices, here's what you need to know. Let's talk about the good stuff first starting with the positives. We've got the September 2024 security patch, so your device should be more secure after installing this update. That's a win for anyone worried about security. Also, there's a cool new feature for the on 4K Pro. Volume control for the device's internal speaker. If you've been waiting to adjust that without external controls, this update's got you covered. But there are some headaches too now, here's where it gets tricky. A few issues are popping up with this update, and they might be deal breakers depending on your setup. First up, USB Ethernet adapter problems. This could be a big one for some people. Since the on 4K has no Ethernet port and the Pro model maxes out at just 100 megabits per second, a lot of folks use external USB Ethernet adapters for faster, more reliable connections. But now, some people are finding that these adapters just aren't working post-update. To be fair, not everyone's affected, some adapters are still running fine, so it's not like a blanket failure. But if you depend on that USB Ethernet adapter for your streaming, you might want to hold off on this update until we know more or Walmart rolls out a fix. Next, region locks. Now, this is interesting because Walmart officially only sells these in the US, but the devices are popular enough that people import them to other countries. Some users outside the US are reporting that they're seeing an unsupported region message after the update. It doesn't seem to affect everyone, and some users say it only appears if the device gets factory reset. So, if you're using your own outside the US and you're worried about this, avoid factory resets for now if you go ahead with the update. A few more bugs worth mentioning there are some smaller but still annoying issues. People using custom launchers are finding that the update resets their devices to the default launcher although reapplying the custom launcher seems to work just fine after that. Another minor, but possibly frustrating bug, HDR settings seem to get reset as well. So if you had HDR turned off, you'll need to do that again. Final take in summary, it's a pretty typical update story. You get some nice new features, but there are enough bugs that you might want to wait and see. If the update's been pushed to your device, but you rely on USB Ethernet adapters or use it outside the US, it could be worth holding off until we have more clarity or a fix comes through. So, whether to update or not. It's really a question of your setup and how much these issues will impact you. But, if you're not in a rush to update, I'd say wait a bit.